Hi, my name is Becky. Welcome to Learning Chinese. 学中文. Today we'll talk about articles, the words that you use to say how many. So the first one is you say I have a cat or a book, for example. So in Chinese we say yi ge. Yi is one. So that would make sense when you're saying I have a, since a means one. And ge is the term we use. So together you say yi ge. But when you, this is only for a general term. So you can use this for almost anything when you're describing articles. But as I'll mention in just a sec, there are many, many subgroups. For example, here is an example where we can use it in a phrase. Sorry, I'll get to the subgroups later. But if you say, there is a cat, or here is a cat, then you would say, zhe you yi ge mao. Here is, or there is, a one cat. Zhe yo yi ge mao. But those subgroups that I mentioned, well, they're going to come up right now. For animals such as cats, dogs, birds, and the like, we use yi zhi. Zhi is a term we would use instead of ge. It's more specific and more proper. And yi, once again, stands for how many. So if you had multiple, all you would do is change the number that goes before the article. For example, if you want to say two cats, well, we know that the article for animals is zhi. And since you have two, you might say, why don't we use r, since in numbers, r is two. But in this case, it's a special form of two, and you have to use this. It's liang, liang, liang for two. This is the form you use when you're putting it with articles. And this is just a rule that you're going to have to abide by. So, when you read it all together, it says liang zhi mao, liang zhi mao for two cats, and zhi is for animals. Next, we have yi zhang. Zhi ang zhang is for card, paper products, or furniture. So whenever you talk about something that's related to these items, you would use this for the article. And if you just if you're talking about more than one of the items, just remember to change the number to match with the number of objects that you actually have. For example, you want to say a piece of paper. Paper we just went over has the article zhang and you're saying a piece, so only one. So you don't need to change Yi. When you put it together, you say yi zhang zhi, and zhi is the Chinese character for paper. So you are saying a piece of paper, one piece of paper, and yi zhang zhi. Now, I mentioned that the same article also works for furniture. So you say a table. Now, a still refers to one, so you don't need to change the number. And the only thing that changes is the item that you're talking about. Together, you have yi zhang zhuo zi. <coughs> zhuo zi, these two characters mean table in Chinese. So you are quite literally saying a table together. Yi zhang zhuo zi, zhi wo zhuo zi zi, yi zhang zhuo zi, 
and zhuang refers, refers to furniture as well as paper. Now, I said that paper and paper products work for zhang. So a card is a paper product and you would use this article again. So a card, yi zhang ka pian. Ka pian, two characters mean card. Ka a ka pia pian. Ka pian for card. So when you say one card or a card, just remember the article that you're supposed to use, which is zhang for paper products and the number that you're referring to. Yi zhang ka pian for a